All right, today I'm taking a look at the Rabe DV-1. This is designed for 17.63 pounds, so you can put your camera with all the accessories on it. This is the big video tripod. Okay, so it comes in the case, which is great because that's going to protect it. Looks like it's uh, got some nice foam padding inside there, so be able to throw this thing all around. I'm not going to worry about dinging it up. It's got a pretty thick zipper. That's pretty awesome. And let's see how far. Okay, so that'll open all the way up. So that's good. We are well packaged. Nice. Love it. Lots and lots of rods. So we're going to have all the support we need. And we actually got something inside here. What is this? Okay, this is the handle for the video head. It's got a nice rubber grip. This feels really nice. So I'll be able to have lots of control. I don't have to worry about my sweaty hands. Uh, slipping on this guy, so that's really good. So we've got a spot for it right here, so I can attach it to this side, or if I'm a left-handed person, I can put it right here. So I'm right-handed, I'm gonna throw it right here. Cool. Nice. So that feels super solid. I love I love the uh, the extra leverage you get with the length on here. This that feel really good in the hand. It feels like my fingers just sit right inside that curve, and uh, I can really feel like I can get a nice tight fit, which is something I always worry about with tripods. Did I get that thing tight enough? This is going to ensure I get plenty of strength, so it's not going to be locking. It actually stops right there. So that's cool. So I can lock it all the way down and be fully reassured that it is as tight as it can get. So that's nice. So I got one up there, and I got one on the bottom. And that is a pretty darn long <laughs> leg. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's see if this one does that too. Sure does. So they, they actually go all the way to a full lock, uh, to a stop. So that's nice. And the feet swivel, and they swivel pretty well, but they got something which I don't normally see, which is this little cutout right here, which you uh, you might recognize from a ball head. So you can take this thing and turn it almost all the way over. So that's really cool. So if I need to get some really crazy leans in, like if I'm actually using this as a, a monopod, which I don't imagine I ever would, but if I wanted to, I have the capacity. So having options, always a good thing. Now as for the head, one thing I like, if I push it forward, it comes back. So it does want to recenter, which is awesome. All the good ones that I've used do that, and it just it, it feels much more professional, and it, it usually reacts in a much better way. And so we have uh, tension for that, so I can tighten this thing up, and it'll make it a lot tighter. So if I'm worried, if I have, you know, if I have very unsteady hands, I can use this to accommodate my ability, which I probably will need that. So then over here, we've got this lock. So if I want to, I can just lock this down and I won't be able to move it at all. And that's something I use all the time. All these knobs feel really smooth. They feel solid. They feel well made. I love that. We've got some rotation for side to side. This also feels extremely fluid. And we've got a lock down for that right here. So no more movement side to side. All right, so on the uh, the quick release plate, it does come with a quick release plate. It has rubber with a knurled grip on it. So these are the best. These are going to hold onto your camera extremely well. Quarter 20 mount and a 3 8 mount. So if I want to put another head on top of that, I can do that. Or some video cameras actually accommodate that. We've got the spring pin so we can lock it in, make sure it's not going to be moving anywhere. We've got the quick release button and the quick release lever. So let's... So that's very important. In the event that this ever came loose, or if I loosened it up a little bit to take it out, but I didn't have a good grip on the camera, instead of it falling out and crashing to the ground, it does lock in place. So then I can use this button to pull it the rest of the way out. And it actually says to slide that way, but that's all right. I'm kind of a rebel. There we go. Nice head. That's a very, very, very good head. And another important thing we can see, we've got this actually uh, has a threaded side, so we can throw our accessories on here or on here. So we've got, uh, looks like a quarter 20 over there, three eighths over here. So if I wanna put on some batteries or some big microphones or, uh, or wireless receivers 
or monitors. Uh, all of those can attach right here. So I don't have to actually glue everything to the camera. So that's pretty awesome. And you can see in the back, they put the level, the little spirit level, which uh, the, for some reason, a lot of these uh, spirit levels, they want to put them in places where you can't actually see them. This is behind the camera, so you can actually see it when you're trying to level the tripod. Why don't they all do that? So that's really cool. So I just moved the bag out of the way and I heard some rattling. And I was like, what the heck is that? So there's a little pouch in here and so it zippers up and inside, unbelievable. It actually comes with a second quick release plate. I've never seen that before. They always just come with one. If you want another one, you gotta buy it. This thing is gonna save me money. If I've got two cameras, I can use both of them with this tripod, snap them on, snap them off really quick. I mean, this is just so cool. Okay, so here's something else that caught me off guard. I've never seen this before. This might exist on some tripods, but this is the first time I've seen it. So this is really cool. I can loosen this up, and if I want to get like a crazy lean-in, I can do that. I've got all kinds of crazy adjustability, even here. So that's really cool. So I kind of pride myself on being able to solve problems that are, you know, just like messing with me. All of this adjustability is going to allow me to quickly solve problems that I'm going to be coming across. So that's really, really cool. So now looking at this, it came out of the box just a little bit crooked. And of course I can see the spirit level, but just barely. Now, if I want to adjust that, I just loosen this guy up and it actually has a ball head. That is really, really nice, especially if I've got the legs the way I want them, but the camera's just tilted a little bit so that I can't quite get the way I want it. Uh, this solves that, so even more adjustability. And that's the word that keeps on coming to mind when I'm looking at this tripod, adjustability. The ability to adjust for all scenarios. Okay, so let's talk about height. I'm six foot three. Now there is kind of like a, some, a little, I'm taller than this thing is. Keep that in mind. But yeah, this thing goes up really, really high. And the fact that it's doing that without any kind of a pole extension, like a lot of tripods will have a little thing where you can pull this and just bring it up. This is doing it entirely with the legs. So it's going to be a lot more sturdy than those types of tripods. And I find that to be pretty impressive. So yeah, really tall, really sturdy, really strong. The legs slide extremely beautifully. It's an extremely smooth uh, feel to it. Pretty awesome tripod.